All right, so that's Ubuntu, Jonathan. Now do Arch. Come on, break it down. I love Arch. What's not to love? <laughs> <laughs> so the problem with Arch is, and the reason why we don't all use Arch is it does have stable releases. So if you want to install it on 5,000 servers or use it in your enterprise um, or even in your university, it, it just changes too fast. You don't want your web servers not starting one day because the config file format changed uh, at last night's upgrade or something like that. So Arch is, Arch is fantastic for what it is. If it wasn't for Debian and I didn't need to support a system professionally, I would probably use Arch as well. I think it's a, a great system. There are a lot more lax on certain things that than we are. So in Debian, for example, when you package something new in Debian, a Debian developer or packager needs to go through all of the source code and document the copyright of literally every file in that upstream source tab or in the Debian copyright file. In, in Arch, they just look at what the GitHub page says. And if it says it's MIT license or GPL, they basically just have a tag that says this is the license of this package. But meanwhile, there's a bunch of files in the package that might be under another license. And I think especially if you want to build your product on these packages, it helps to be able to tell exactly what the license terms are, are that you're using. So I think as a as a hobby system, Archie's fantastic, but for more professional stuff, I'd definitely stick with Debian. Mm-hmm.